Welcome to the TED Online Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to search using our advanced search form. With the introduction of eForms, new search fields have been added and existing ones have been changed. Let's begin on the home page. You will find the link to the advanced search directly below the quick search box. By default, the search is performed on active notices. When active notices is selected, only the most recent notices are searched. For planning notices, this means notices sent for publication in the last 364 days. For competition notices, notices for which the deadline has not passed. And for result notices, notices sent for publication in the last 99 days. You can also search notices published since 2014 by selecting all notices or you can restrict it to the current issue of the supplement to the official journal by selecting current OJS issue. In this tutorial, we will search all the notices. You will notice that the different search fields are grouped by category. You can hide all the fields in all the categories by selecting Collapse All. And to show all the fields in all the categories, select Expand All. You can also collapse or expand a single category by selecting the arrow next to the category's name. For many search fields, you can add additional information when you hover over the question marks beside them. For touch screens, tap the question mark. In the text section, you can search using one or more words or you can search for a phrase. If you are searching several words, you will get results that have all these words in them, but the words may not necessarily be together. To search for an exact phrase, then close the phrase in quotation marks. You can search using other criteria by entering information in the form's other fields. Now, let's fill out the rest of the form with the rest of our criteria. After the introduction of eForms, search codes are based on new authority tables, for example, notice type, buyer legal type, etc., that can be found on EU vocabularies. For example, for business opportunities, the authority table notice type is used. Checkboxes allow you to select several values in one go. Here we will select all result business opportunities. You can enter text directly in the search fields or select the plus sign to choose values from the full list. If you want to enter several values in the search fields, you must separate them with a comma. After the introduction of eForms, some notices changed name. For example, the Contract Award Notice corresponds to Contract Award Notice for Public Passenger Transport Services and Contract or Concession Award Light or Standard Regime. Let's also search by a Common Procurement Vocabulary Code. Common Procurement Vocabulary, or CPV, is a classification system for public procurement and is based on product groups. Select the plus sign to see the full list. In the Common Procurement Vocabulary window that appears, you can filter the list by entering text in the search box and selecting Filter. Select the values that you want to search for. To confirm your choice, select OK. If you want to go back to the search form without adding any additional criteria, select Cancel. Let's select OK. The Common Procurement Vocabulary Code has now been added to the search form. We can also search by place of performance. Places of performance can be countries, regions or cities. They are based on NUTS, the classification system for EU territorial units for statistics. After the introduction of eForms, for the fields place of performance, country and languages in which tenders may be submitted, we must use three-letter codes instead of two-letter codes. For example, Belgium is indicated by the code BEL instead of BE. Also, the place of performance values are displayed in a new tree. Here, we want to search for Turkey. We are also interested in notices with a minimum tender value of €150,000. So we enter 150,000 in the minimum tender value field and euro in the currency field. You can also limit your search to a certain type of procedure. In the procedure section, select open and restricted from the list.
We also want to narrow our search to notices that have been published since the beginning of 2020. We want to search from the beginning of January 2020 to the 7th of December 2022. So, in the date section, we select these dates in the appropriate fields. We also want to search by type of buyer. So, in the buyer section, we make our selection from the type of buyer list. After the introduction of eForms, the type of buyer tree has been enhanced with eForms values, including a list of international organizations. Also, the field funding has been added. Previously, you could only search for external aid programs. Now you can search for external aid programs and European Investment Bank non-EU promoters. Once all the criteria have been added to the form, you can launch the search by selecting Search. If you want to remove all search criteria from the form and start a new search, you can select Clear All at any time. But for now, let's select Search. A search results page matching all the search criteria is now displayed and our search is complete. For more information, visit our help pages or check out our other tutorials. Thank you for following this tutorial.